Thousands of Palestinians have gathered at the Egyptian side of the Rafah border crossing. They're desperate to help their loved ones stuck inside Gaza. About 50 kilometers from the border, Turkish military planes have delivered hundreds of tons of food, clothes and medicine. But getting this to the stranded Palestinians is yet another difficult challenge. Turkish Foreign Minister Hakan Fidan rushed to Cairo to discuss possible solutions with his Egyptian counterpart, Sami Shukri. First of all, civilian casualties must be prevented on all sides. We see some states are trying to portray Israel's indiscriminate reprisals in Gaza as a justified intervention. Such a distorted and inhumane approach will only lead to more violence and loss of life. I would like to emphasize once again that we call on Israel to adhere to international law and humanitarian values. We do not approve of the policy of displacing Palestinians in Gaza and deporting them to Egypt. We stand with Egypt on this issue. The Egyptian government appreciates the swift Turkish response, but says aid cannot be delivered to the Palestinians in the current conditions. We have extensively discussed the developments in Gaza. Egypt and Turkey have the same view in respect with the importance of overcoming the extremely grave humanitarian repercussions from which the Palestinian people suffer in Gaza. It's important to contain the conflict and to fully abide by the international and the humanitarian law. The ministers criticized Israel's indiscriminate bombing of Gaza and its policy of collective punishment. Fidan and Shukri also discussed steps to boost trade, tourism, and political cooperation. Both sides believe this visit will prove instrumental in further strengthening bilateral relations. But they say it's not just the two countries that stand to benefit. Good relations between Turkey and Egypt will have positive implications for regional security and stability. Hassan Abdullah, TRT World, Cairo.